Well, back in the day, if you couldn't afford more than one vehicle, perhaps you had a buggy or a spring wagon that you would take to town. And in the winter time, it'd be nice if you had a little cutter or a sleigh. Well, these were one style of removable runners that were designed to go on in place of the buggy wheel. And even though they weren't really quite as common or actually quite as safe as a full-blown cutter, it was a viable option. Well, today you run across some of these runners at different auctions. And this was a set that was picked up and then brought in to see if I could perhaps fix them. The back two runners were old original set and the request was that I just leave them alone in the condition that they are. So this is kind of how they fit onto a buggy and these ones were for the back wheels. So what I need to do is make a pair for the front wheels. Well, the irons that were purchased at this auction weren't exactly part of the same set, but I think with a little bit of help we can make them fit. Well, you've watched me bend wood quite a bit, so I won't bore you with the details of how I bent the wood for these runners. But I've bent a number of these before, so I had some forms that were pretty close and certainly workable. So these were the original irons for the front runners that came up with the old rear set of runners. There are a few little variations which makes me think these were not an original set or a set of four. But we can make them work and they'll look like they are a uniform set when we're done. Well, even in the initial examination of these irons, I began to notice something wasn't even matched between these two. You see the differences in the holes of where the upright brackets were attached. So what I'm going to do is actually take the old original rear runners and see which one of these two is the closest and then we'll make the odd one fit.
Well, when I bent the wood for these runners, they called for an inch and a quarter wide and an inch and a half deep. But it's difficult to bend wood that is narrower than it is wide. So I chose to bend these at inch and a half square. Then I'm going to plane them down to the inch and a quarter that will match the irons for both the runners and the uprights. Once I get the wood and the iron kind of made it up, well then it's just the process of making sure they match and getting them assembled. Now, even though these seem kind of like a simple little project, with all the little curves and angles and bends, they're kind of a time consuming little rascal, but we're going to get it.
Now there are several different styles of these runners and different little attachments that attach them to the axle. This one uses kind of a barrel style and there was only one with the front pair so I'm going to make a second one to kind of match the other one that was there. It wasn't the best but actually these runners aren't ever going to be used so I think I'm just going to leave the old one as it is. And I kind of gave it some second thought as I got to going and actually made two of these. So there is a spare for the other front wheel in case he ever needs it. Well the braces on this second set of irons just had a couple bolts put in there where the other one was more original and had rivets. So I'm going to kind of assemble this initially with the bolts but eventually I'm going to swap them back and put rivets in them.
Well, this little running gear that I have here is the running gear to what's often called a doctor's buggy, a piano box buggy, a runabout. They really go by a lot of names. But this little buggy would be something that would be appropriate for these removable runners. So these runners are not actually going to go to this little buggy, but I thought I would put them on just so you could see what they look like. This little buggy is one that's here for restoration. So it's just kind of an example of how you can convert a doctor's buggy or a little buggy like this into a sleigh for the winter. Once again, thanks for watching.